Here's a tutorial on how to create a bootable USB flash drive in two different ways. In the older mode, which is called Legacy or Master Boot Record or BIOS, and in the newer mode, which is called UFI and GPT and so on. Okay, so first of all, I will use this program, which is called Rufus. Let's start it and insert a USB flash drive into the computer. Okay, so here's the flash drive. Now from here select disk or ISO image and select the ISO image of let's say Windows 10. Here's the ISO image. You can download from the Microsoft website a small little program and that program will generate an ISO file of Windows 10. Okay, select that one standard Windows installation and here's the most important one the partition scheme MBR or GPT if you create a USB flash drive in the MBR mode which is also referred to as BIOS or legacy mode then the hard drive onto which Windows will installed only that one will be master boot record and Windows will be in that master boot record mode also if you create the USB flash drive in the GPT mode and install Windows from that flash drive then the entire Windows will have certain limitations it will use the GPT mode GPT partition scheme for the C drive but you also have to set up a BIOS to boot from GPT partitions and in that case you don't use BIOS but you use UFI mode so that has to be set up in BIOS if you use MBR then you have to use in BIOS the legacy mode okay so let's see this current Windows is installed in which mode to check it just right click the start button go to run and type in MS info 32 MS info 32 and here on the first page at BIOS mode it says it's in legacy mode legacy mode has less limitations than UFI mode UFI mode for example will not allow this program which is called EasyBCD it will not allow this one to boot from ISO files for example okay so currently you're at add new entry ISO this one is not grayed out you can browse on your computer for ISO files if Windows was installed in the other way then this portion will be totally disabled okay and uh, let's talk about another interesting and important fact in file explorer right click this PC and go to manage and after manage come here to disk management and that MBR versus GPT brings us to another question if you have your Windows installed in MBR mode which is this hard drive my Windows is also installed in MBR mode and if you go here to properties and volumes you can see that is in master boot record that is MBR that entire hard drive is in that mode but you can still create GPT partitions which are necessary for hard drives which are larger than 2 terabytes which is this one it's 3 terabytes so if I right click on that one and properties and volumes this one cannot be MBR but instead it has to be GPT if it would be MBR then instead of the 3 terabytes it should see only around 2 terabytes so the rest of the one terabyte would not be visible okay so MBR where is that one MBR is more compatible UFI or GPT is more limiting so if you choose MBR you can create GPT partitions also but if you use GPT you cannot create MBR partitions and for example EasyBCD will have limited functions okay enough talking so better use MBR and just click on start your USB flash drive will be formatted so back off any information that you have on it and then click on start and that's it the flash drive will be in master boot record mode that's it thanks for watching and bye bye